the EZ-021 Death Soar. We've got a good few Death Soars here in the Zoids room. Over here we have three motorized Death Soars hanging out in my Xenobus hangar, including Bloody Death Soar in the middle and a custom white Megasaur on the end. So three motorized 172 scale Takratomi Death Soars. But heading over to the special case, we also have a chrome death sore all the way from Singapore, although I have no idea what it was doing there. Then right below him, we have the holotech or crystal death sore molded entirely in translucent plastic, except for those gorgeous red caps. So pretty. Down here underneath my ultrasaurus is a dark death sore. It's an unfinished custom of mine. It's going to be going in this dark hangar, which as you can see is very incomplete, but you'll get the idea. Dark swords are going to go down here. Then over here we have Death Meteor from Zoid's Legacy. Uh, this thing was actually a uh, kit bash of two Death Swords, some HMM Gojolus parts along with custom printed head and uh, hands, and I painted him in the style of the Taken from Bungie's Destiny. He's also blacklight reactive, but I can't recall what I did with the blacklight, so no glowy today. And then lastly we have one, two, three Kotobukiya D-style Death Swords looking absolutely adorable, including little red here. Also got this tiny little Gashapon Death Sword, so cute and tiny. I do have one more Death Sword at home. It's going to become Bloody Demon from the Zoid's original battle story, but I think that's all the Death Swords for now.